if God tells me to address something means deal with it. I do because the person on the other end needs to hear the truth. So <clears throat> they take it because I address it that you were telling people to change because you're so hurt. <laughs> and I have to laugh because I'm not hurt by anything that anybody says or does. I don't care what it is. I have been through the worst persecution. And when these people who pick on me, they endured suffer persecution, they will understand that life is not the way they think. And they can't look at a person and make a judgment and say these words. And this is for you to know and understand how not to judge people. When you look at a person and you say, well, you're just doing this because of this. That is a judgment that you are not entitled to because you are not God. You do not know what's in their heart. And if you're guided by Satan, he's lying, lying to you, telling you that he has the power to know what's in a person's heart when he has no power to see that heart. What I've been trying to tell you is nobody can see into the heart of another person that belongs to Jesus Christ. You can't, it's, it's closed. It's a closed door because God is never going to share your heart with any other person. He is never going to go and tap another one on the shoulder and say, well, you know, she's just doing this or he's just doing that because of this, this. He's not like that. He's not a gossip. He's not a liar and he's not a cheat. He doesn't act like you. The human flesh does that because they can't figure it out. Because they're so wrapped up and so irritated that you have told them to change. That you know that it is wrong for them to be in that condition. And that troubles them. Just like the hypocrites got enraged that Jesus Christ told them the truth. How dare you tell me the truth? I've been doing this all this long. So God has been with me. This person is that foolish. God has been with me to judge others. There's so much evil in that heart. They better get it cleaned out because God says he comes as a thief in a night. And that doesn't mean his second coming necessarily. What it means is he can come this afternoon for you. I've seen it happen. He could come tomorrow for you. I have seen people one day they're there judging and hurting others. And the next day they're gone. Not because of me or what they did to me. I've seen what they did to others. They didn't go in the grave because of me. They went in a grave because they destroyed a lot of lives with lying, gossiping. Well, you know, he only is this and he only is that. And the reason why this kind of mind and heart does these things, and I'm not judging that particular person, but there's only one purpose for it. What's in here, they want to keep hidden. They don't want nobody to see it. They don't want nobody to know. Now, these are words of wisdom that God has given me that are not personal. And this is what wraps them up is they are personal. They are personal with everybody else. And God didn't give them that power. God is not with them in that power. Understand the difference between when the, the leadership of the Holy Spirit, which is holy, when he taps you on the shoulder and he shows you something, he doesn't show it to you so you can tell the whole world, well, this one's doing this and that one's doing this. If ever I speak about somebody, I don't give you their name. I don't, that's not gossip. I tell it to you to protect you. What I am telling you is strictly for you. I don't have to do this. I don't have to tell nobody nothing. I don't have to talk about the different testimonies. I, I don't, I'm not looking for nothing. But I do it in the hopes of protecting you and your family, of getting you to realize how real he is. That's why I do it. I do it because he called me to, because he told me nobody else is doing this. Nobody else cares. All they care about is their own ministry, their own people, their own money, their own everything. They don't care about if you, if you are not a member of their ministry, they don't want no parts of you because this Thinking is a cult. We are the only true doctrine. We are the only ones that have the truth. And if you don't belong to us, you're not going to make it. I don't preach and teach that. I tell you that you must belong to Jesus Christ.
that you must go to him. Do I ever anywhere lead you to me? Do I ever tell you that you must belong to me or even that you must do that I do? Because I don't know where you're at. I haven't even begun to try and judge you. I have no idea what is in your heart and mind, and I don't want to know. And the reason why I don't want to know is I'm too busy minding my own business. I am too busy hearing from God so that I can help people. I'm not interested in what you think and what you feel. So even though I have given my my uh, email to people, it is not to talk about other people. It is not to talk to them about uh other, other pastors, preachers, it's, that's not what it's for. It is so that if they need any help drawing close to God, I can be there to help them recognize it's God calling. But outside of that, I don't want to talk to anybody about anybody. All I want to do, and if, if they think that I'm going to give them a greater, fuller message about what the Antichrist is doing or what he's going to do, I will not give it out until God tells me to. Whatever I know and whatever I see, I don't give it out to everybody unless God tells me to. And he gave me a piece of a message this afternoon. He told me to tell it, that they're, that these people are working on this. I can tell you who they are. I can tell you what they're doing, but I'm not going to because that is not what God told me to do. He told me to tell you, I could tell you the kind of people that do this. I could tell you why they're doing this. And the kind of people are the ones that once knew Christ and turned their back on Christ. And they become traitors, not only to their own families, but traitors to this nation. And they infiltrated with other different kinds of people. And, and what they don't understand is, is, Everybody will do for you and give for you as long as you're feeding them the things you're not supposed to feed them. As long as you give them parts of what is, is in here, as long as you do that. But the moment they get control and power of this nation, you, the traitor, are going to be the first one to go because they are going to look at you as a traitor. They're never going to see you any different because as long as they know that you are a traitor to your own country, they know you, they can never trust you. And because they could never trust you, they will use you. They will give you everything until the time that they decide we're done with that one. Listen to what I'm telling you. It's true. Satan works exactly the same way. He will give you everything. He will help you everywhere. He will do everything for you. And you'll look like, wow, this is God. Because your heart's not clean. You won't know the difference because your heart is not clean. So I'm here to warn you, clean out your heart. Because when it comes, you won't know what hits you. 